Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today I'm going to be doing the second video of my bathroom makeover um, tutorials and I'm going to be using this product from Gianni. It's the Marble Countertop Paint Kit. So this is the packaging that it comes in. Um, I did my kitchen cupboards with their um, like cabinet transformation kit last summer. So I had done that in um, the Oxford blue shade and it turned out really well. So I decided that I would pick this up to use in my bathroom for the counters. So I'll show you everything that's in the kit first. So you do get a practice board to practice the veining on. Then you get the squirt bottle, the sponge, You get a foam paintbrush, you get two rollers, and the handle for that is over here. I took that out of the box already. Then this large can is the step one, the white base coat. And then this is the high gloss top coat, so that's going to be the last thing you use. And then this is 2B, the white highlight. And then this is 2A, the gray veining. So from what I understand, and it does come with um, a little booklet of instructions, and also there's some tutorial videos on their website as well. But from what I understand, after following the steps to prep the surface, you paint on the base coat, about two coats I think from what I've seen online from reviews. Then you do the veining with, um, oh, there's actually one more thing on the box. So they give you this small little paintbrush to do the veining with. Then as you paint them on, you fill this with water and you squirt it to sort of airbrush the lines out and then you can also use the sponge to like dab it or um, just sort of push it around. Oh, I lied. There's one more thing. It also comes with a paintbrush like this as well so that you can kind of stipple it to like make the veins look, I don't know, airbrush and more realistic, sort of like the way that they are in real life on real marble. And then the highlight um, you apply with the sponge as well, so you sort of dab that on, and then when you're finished doing all of those things, then you put on the top coat, and that's pretty much it. So it seems easy. Um, the only things that I'm worried about are making my veins look realistic, so I guess drawing them in a way that I'm happy with, so that's why I think it's really nice that they include a practice board. Um, and then the other thing that I'm a little nervous about is the texture of it because I want it all to be very even because it is a countertop so you're going to be feeling it. There's going to be a lot of hands on it um, all that kind of stuff. So um, I've already gone ahead and taped off, taped off around the sink, all that good stuff and I've done all the prep that they recommend in the booklet. So they recommend that you clean it with an SOS pad. Um, so that it's like lightly abrasive so you don't really have to sand you just use something rough to clean it with so I use the SOS pad and then it recommends after you use the SOS pad to rinse it twice with water so I did it about three times <laughs> because I wanted to make sure all the cleaner was really off there and then it also says um, oh to when you remove the caulking it says to use rubbing alcohol to make sure that the residue is gone so I did that all around the sink and up along the ledge and at the bottom of the mirror there as well. And then the last step before you start is to tape it. So I've done all my prep work um, and now I'm gonna start with the white coat. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the first coat. And then I've waited four hours for it to dry as per the instructions and I'm gonna go in with coat number two. Okay everyone, so I forget where I really left off in terms of talking about the method that I'm using for the countertops. So I think I showed the kit in the beginning of the video. So this is the kit that I used from Gianni. The first coat is, oh, you can't really see it anymore because I dripped down it, but see how it says can number one. 
Then after you do coats of that, so I did about three coats and you have to wait for four hours between each coat. So after that was done, I moved on to can 2A, which is the gray veining. And it's just a small can, but there's plenty. Like I hardly touch this at all, especially because I'm doing my bathroom, not a kitchen. So I have a much smaller area to work with. And then in the kit contents, I explained that it came with the spray bottle. It came with this larger brush and this little brush. So what you ended up doing was using the little brush with as little paint as possible. And as you can see down here, I did try it a bit on my practice board, which also came with the kit, but I really wasn't happy with the ones that I started with near the bottom. And it got a little bit easier um, where I finished doing the practicing. So on the actual counter, my tips would be to use as little paint as possible on your brush to work in very small sections. So if I started up in this corner, I would only do maybe like four inches and get it wet as you go. Because if you were to go all the way down your countertop and then go back to spray it, by the time you try to brush it out, it's already dry. It's not gonna be able to be feathered out at all. So you need to work quickly, do small sections, keep it wet as you go. So I kind of was holding everything, like holding the spray bottle, holding the brushes, like the two different brushes at the same time. So it would be maybe helpful if you had someone working with you so you could focus on just drawing the lines and then the other person could wet it and blot it out as you go. Um, but I basically just went off of the instructions that came in the box and also there's a video on the Gianni website where they explain the three styles of veining. So that's what I followed. Um, so this is what I'm left with. And some of them are a little bit darker, some of them are a bit lighter, but I'm pretty happy with it. If you look at it in the mirror as well, um, I think it looks pretty realistic when you look at it in the mirror. And then of course there's my white tiles in the background. So it's looking a lot better because before, if you looked in the mirror, you could see that I had updated the white tiles, but the countertop, as you can see in the before of this video was pretty yellow. So it looked really terrible. So I've got this part done and now I'm realizing how yellow my sink looks, but hopefully it'll all work out. So after you do the veins, you need to wait an hour and then we're going to go in with can 2B which is down here just like that so this is the white highlight and that I think I'm going to apply with the sponge this big round sponge and see how that goes okay so I realized that I hadn't filmed anything between talking about the highlight and doing the top coat so I actually just finished the second top coat and I'm not really too sure about the white highlight so in my opinion I feel like maybe I didn't apply enough of it um, but I feel like it wasn't really changing a lot about the way that the veins looked um, so I mean, I guess that's why they listed that step as optional. I don't really know if I would bother with it again, or maybe I did it wrong. Anyway, um, so I had done that with the sponge, and then I did two coats of the top coat. So as you can see, it looks very shiny now. Like, you can see the my vanity light reflecting in it. Um, so the second coat that I just put on isn't dry yet. So you have to wait four hours in between each of those coats and then I think you're supposed to wait 12 hours before you do um, any of the recocking and stuff but I'm really pleased with it so I'll give you like a little overview. Um, it was kind of hard to do the round edge of the countertop because in the videos like um, their edges were all square like they are here but I also have a rounded edge at the back as well which they didn't show how to do rounded edges on the company's website. So, and then this is my like square edge on that side over there. But yeah, so that's my countertop. And for the clear top coat, I recommend putting tin foil in your paint tray and then that way you can use your paint tray again for something else. So now that this is done, um, I'm gonna end up painting these white as well. Um, that's pretty much it. So I do recommend the kit. I think it was pretty easy to do. Um, the veins were the hardest, but if you use the practice board, it's totally fine. And I'm really pleased with the finish of it. When I did the first coat, 
and after I let it dry when I touched it, it felt really nice and smooth. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out as well. So if you have any questions, um, you can send me an email at coulters.workshop at gmail.com and stay tuned for the other videos as I'm going to be updating um, more bits in my bathroom.